you know, if we said, we're going to have a class on prayer, you'd say, that's, that's, I need that. And even the disciples said, teach us to pray. But let me remind you that hearing God is the second half of prayer. Because if you can't hear God, why would you pray? Now, one reason is to make our requests and petitions be known to God. But God never intended prayer to be a giving of our to-do list to Him every morning. He intended prayer to be communication between a father and his children. And if you'll just take some time and start to listen, you'll be amazed that He'll speak. This is ubiquitous. We, we hear this all the time, that prayer is a two-way street. We are to pray to God, and then we are to listen for him to talk back to us. You hear this, and you've got something going on in your life. You've got some crisis situation. You've got a decision to make, and you're not real sure what to do. You really feel like you need some direction from the Lord, and so you go to the Lord. You're very sincere. Uh, the TV, you turn the TV off. The kids are in bed, and you sit down at your kitchen table or your study or wherever you do your praying, you sit down and you pray and you go to the Lord and you tell the Lord what's going on in your life. Say, Lord, this is what I'm facing. I'm not sure what to do. Lord, speak to me. I'm listening. And you get real still and you listen real hard. And then after just a few seconds, what happens? A thought, right? Just kind of, just kind of flashes through our minds and we think, oh, oh. Was that you, Lord, or was that me? Was, was that God, or was that the pizza I ate tonight? I mean, how, you remember what the disciples asked Jesus in Luke chapter 11? Lord, teach us to pray. The ball is sitting on the proverbial tee, waiting for Jesus to knock it out of the park and affirm what Robert Morris and the vast majority of evangelicals believe today, that prayer is a two-way street. Lord, teach us to pray. What did Jesus say? Okay, here's how you do it. You talk to God, and then you get real quiet, and you listen for that still, small voice. Is that what he said? No, he didn't say that at all. He said, when you pray, say this, Lord, hallowed be thy name. Nothing about listening for some still, small voice. Nothing about listening for God to speak back to you. So this whole notion of prayer being a two-way street, that is foreign to the Word of God. There's nothing in the Bible about that at all.